Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss our first mid question paper, and I got the first set. And the subject is electronics and communication engineering, and the subject is analog and digital communication. So let's directly jump into it. So the first question asks that how much power is saved in SSB when compared to AM signal. So in SSB, like 83%, 83.3% of power is saved, whereas in AM signal, 90% of the power is saved during the modulation system. So the next question asks plot the spectrum of VSB. VSB full form is vestigial sideband. So you can see this vestigial sideband of frequency spectrum and here in the upper sideband the entire spectrum almost entire spectrum is transmitted and in the lower sideband the small part of it is transmitted which is called as VSB so that's why it is considered as vestigial sideband because in lower sideband we are considering a small part of it and the bandwidth can be written as FM plus FV let's see the next question the next question asks: give any two application of FM FM means frequency modulation so the frequency modulation can be used for broadcasting radio systems uh, signals and magnetic tape recording uh, it can be used for and it can it also can be used for video broadcasting systems like our TV in our TV video broadcasting is done and uh, whatever video you are seeing in the YouTube channel or anywhere and uh, let's see the next question the next question asks to apprise the word amplitude modulation nothing special to do with it just write the definition of the amplitude modulation so we will write it as amplitude modulation is defined as the change of the carrier signal with respect to change in amplitude of message signal that means we change the uh, frequency or it may be amplitude or it may be the phase of the carrier signal with respect to amplitude of the message signal which is defined as amplitude modulation so let's see the next question the next question asks that determine the percentage of power saving in dsbsc modulation over am like similar to the first question uh, in the dsbsc 50 percent of the power is saved when compared to am and in am 90 percent of the power is saved so let's see the next question uh, it asks like why costas loop receiver is designed the costas loop receiver is designed because it has to detect detect coherent in the signal which we are receiving so we will write the answer as costas loop receiver is designed to detect the coherent in amplitude modulation suppressed carrier signal and the next question is to plot the spectrum of fm fm means like same thing frequency modulation in frequency modulation the message signal will be will consider like normal sinusoidal and the carrier signal we know that the frequency of the carrier signal is uh, greater than the frequency of the message signal so according to the message signals amplitude the frequency of the carrier signal will get changed and this is called frequency modulation so here in the diagram i have also mentioned high frequency and low frequency so that whoever is doing the correction he will be clear that okay this is high frequency and here he is the student is in indicating low frequency so there will be no confusion so let's see our next question the next question says that the to propose the percentage of sideband power in am transmission so in am transmission the sideband power is 30 percent like what is the sideband power i mean the power used in uh, one of the sidebands in uh, am transmission amplitude transmission that is around 30 percent so let's see second question uh, sorry last second question so it says that to mention the differences between dm and adm so what is dm and what is adm dm means delta modulation and adm means amp adaptive delta modulation so the difference we can also write its uh, full form called as delta modulation called as adaptive delta modulation and in dm the step size is fixed and in adm the step size may vary according to the need of the message signal so let's see the last question it says that to draw the block diagram of digital communication this is the last question and we'll wrap it up after this and in the next video i'll make the answers of long questions for the same question paper so also don't forget to check it out the block diagram of digital communication first a source will be there like your voice or email or like uh, any message signal 
here a source encoder will be there which will encode your voice and the channel encoder then modulation modulation means converting the carrier signals uh, frequency or phase or amplitude with respect to the message signal this is the transmitter antenna and this will go through a channel channel may be wired or wireless then it will go to receiver antenna and again the this process will be in reverse so first we did modulation now we will do demodulation this is channel encoder and here we will do channel decoding this is source encoder we will do source decoding and this is the final destination signal where whatever the signal was uh, passed in the source through the source to the these blocks in the last destination we will get the same signal thanks for watching the video guys that's it from my side if you have any query or suggestion you can drop it in the description box i'll check it out for sure and don't forget to subscribe my channel and click that like button thank you bye bye